You know what's interesting? The more I tried to level up my productivity with all those fancy apps, the more overwhelmed I felt. Lately, I've noticed a trend. People are ditching the complicated stuff and going back to the basics with Apple's built-in notes, reminders, and calendar apps. So, a few months ago, I gave them a real shot, and honestly, game changer. They've totally transformed how I stay on top of things. Let me explain. If you're trying to juggle work projects, personal errands, and just everyday chaos, I've been there. And for a while, I was making it harder on myself using overcomplicated tools. That's when I started leaning into Apple's built-in apps. They're super simple, but surprisingly powerful when you actually use them right. Now, don't get me wrong. Third-party productivity apps are still awesome, and I still use a few of them for more specific needs. But for everyday personal stuff, notes, reminders, and calendar have been more than enough. So in this video, I'm breaking down the features that have really made my life easier and showing you exactly how they work. Let's start with Apple Reminders. Apple Reminders has this awesome feature called Smart Lists, and honestly, it's kind of underrated. The Smart Lists let you create custom views that automatically pull in reminders based on rules you set. You can filter by tags, due dates, priority, and even which list a task belongs to. Now, I like to keep things very simple. So I've set up just one smart list called today slash important, and it shows me anything that's due today or marked with a high priority. That way, I'm only seeing what actually matters right now. No clutter, no overwhelm. Here is how I built it. I added two filters, one for due today and one for high priority. I also toggled on the option to show any task that is overdue in case I missed anything, and that's it. It updates automatically throughout the day as I add or complete tasks. All right, here's another feature I use all the time, and that is location-based reminders. Instead of trying to remember things when I get home, I just have Siri to do the work for me. I'll say the magic words, then I'll ask her to remind me to take out the recycling when I get home, and that's it. The reminder is set and waiting. Then, as soon as I pull into the driveway, I get the notification right when I need it. No need to set a time or remember later. It's a small thing, but it makes everyday life so much easier. All right, after organizing my to-dos and setting location-based reminders, this next one is all about keeping things from slipping through the cracks, especially when they originate from mail or notes. Let's say I get an email that needs a follow-up. Instead of flagging it and forgetting it, I highlight the subject line or any part of the email that matters, then tap the share icon, choose reminders, pick a list, set a due date, and that's it. What's really cool is that the reminder now is linked to this specific email, so anytime I wanna go back to it, I just simply have to click the email icon and I'm taken straight to the email. Same thing works perfectly in notes. If I jot something down that needs action later, like a task or a follow-up, I highlight that line, hit share, send it to reminders, and now I've got a link task I can track. Later, when I tap the reminder, it jumps right back to the exact line in the note. No scrolling, no hunting. It's just there. This one is one of those subtle tricks that saves me so much time. I'm not rewriting tasks or losing context. I'm just acting on what's already there. All right. Once I've got my reminders sorted, the next step is mapping out my day. An Apple calendar makes that super easy with smart day detection built right into the system. Let's say someone texts me, hey, do you wanna have lunch tomorrow at 1 p.m.? I don't have to switch apps or copy and paste. I just long press the date, tap add to calendar, and boom, the event is scheduled. Personally, I like to keep my work and personal calendars separate. Helps me stay focused that way. But I totally get how useful this next feature is if you're juggling multiple calendars. Apple Calendar lets you pull in events from iCloud, Gmail, Outlook, or whatever other calendar integration you use, and shows them all in one unified view. They're color-coded, easy to toggle on or off, and it saves you from switching between apps just to see what's coming up. Now, whether you're managing one calendar or juggling a few, sometimes you just need to add something fast, and that's where Siri is a lifesaver. I'll just take the magic words again and ask it to schedule a dentist appointment for next Wednesday at 10 a.m. And that's it. No tapping around, no typing. The event shows up in calendar instantly with the time and title all set. Now, this is where it all comes together. Apple calendars and reminders now work hand in hand. 
Any reminder with a date shows up right in your calendar so your tasks and events live side by side. Let's say I've got a reminder to send invoice, but I haven't specified the time yet. I can just drag it into a time slot, like 3 p.m., and now it's a full calendar event. That's time blocking made easy. Even better, if I check it off right from calendar, it marks the task as completed in the reminders application also. No extra steps. And if it's a repeating task, it only checks off this one. Future ones stay intact. This two-way sync means I can manage my entire day, appointments and tasks directly from the calendar app. And if I ever want a cleaner calendar view, I just hide the schedule reminders with one tap. It's like turning calendar into a full productivity dashboard, less jumping around, more getting things done. So now that we've talked about planning your time and tasks, let's jump into Apple Notes. One of my favorite tools for capturing ideas on the fly is QuickNote. When I'm browsing in Safari and come across something I want to save, I just open the control center, tap the quick note toggle, and right away I can start typing without leaving the page. And Notes is smart enough to recognize the link I'm on. It even asks if I want to include it automatically, which is perfect for saving articles, research, or anything I want to come back to. The next feature feels like magic, especially if you're in meetings or doing interviews. Inside Notes, I tap the Attachments button, then choose Record Audio. While it records, it also transcribes everything live, right there in the note. So, instead of re-listening to the whole thing later, I can just skim the transcript. It's like having a real-time note taker built in. And, if your device supports Apple intelligence, it goes one step further. After recording, it can summarize the entire transcript for you. So, you get a high-level overview without reading line by line. Once I've captured all that info, whether it's a transcript, a brainstorm, or a quick note, I like to connect the dots. That's where link notes come in. If two notes are related, say a meeting summary and your project, you can link them together. On iPhone, you just type two greater than signs and start entering the name of the note I want to link. It adds a little link right in the note and tapping it jumps me straight to the connected content. It's perfect for keeping ideas, research, and next steps all tied together. And finally, this last one kind of ties it all together. Even with tags, folders, and link notes, sometimes I just need to find one thing fast, and Apple Notes search has never let me down. I swipe down from the top of my notes list, type a word or phrase, and boom. It pulls up everything. Type text, handwritten notes, scanned documents, and even images with text in them. It's wildly good. Honestly, it's so powerful that I don't stress too much about perfect organization anymore. I know I'll be able to find what I need when I need it, and that's all that really matters. And that's pretty much how I'm using Apple's built-in tools to stay on top of everything without overcomplicating my life. Notes, reminders, calendar, when you actually use them together, they're kind of brilliant. Clean, simple, and surprisingly powerful once you know what's under the hood. If any of these click with you, especially the way I use reminders to manage tasks and routines, I actually made a whole separate video just on that. I go way deeper into things like smart lists, automations, and how I plan my day using reminders. I'll leave the link right here if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching, and if you got any of your own favorite Apple Notes or calendar tricks, drop them in the comments. I'm always looking to learn new ones. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.